Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Jeskai super friends. This is gonna be my first time playing this deck. This is a donation deck here. Um, and Puppy decided to join in for this one, at least for a little bit. Puppy, say hi. Puppy's real camera shy though. I don't think she likes these bright lights too much. I mean, she's she's fine, but she's just always like looking looking around, not at the not at the camera. She's camera shy. Um, but she's not on on stream too much because Hawkeye is usually kind of scared of Puppy. But there we go. All right, uh, let's see. So our deck looks pretty cool. We're really defensive. You know, we got all these Dove in Hand of Controls, um, the Teferis, basically all these cards. Like, we're trying to just stay alive and um, subdue our opponent and then pull out way ahead, either with Urza's Ruinous Blast, exiling all their stuff, Inblade Inferno, dealing a lot of damage, or most of the time we got these four Sarkins and we want these Sarkins to turn all of our defensive Planeswalkers on and kill our opponent. So let's see how this... Uh, Let's see how this, this deck does. We'll uh, give it a try here. Just Guy, Super Friends. We can go back over to the traditional constructed queue. We'll play till we win five or lose two. Yeah, Spark Double is pretty exciting. I haven't I haven't played with Spark Double yet. That's pretty exciting. Puppy, where are you going? All right, got the deck list command all up to date, ready to go. Turn two, Fibblethip, count me in. Yeah, imagine if we have two Teferi Hero Dominarios. Ugh. What if we have two Sarkins? We can like turn our cre our Planeswalkers into four force twice. I guess that doesn't do a whole lot. Blood Crypt. Blood Crypt decks. It could be Grixis Control, but it could also just be like whatever creature deck. They're gonna try, you know, if it's like, ah, uh, it is Grixis Control. It was just whatever creature deck, you know, like Mardu or anything like that. Some aggro deck. I would have had the shock and then into Fibble Thip. But against um, Grixis Control, I really don't mind. Like, that extra two lives probably not going to be the determining factor in the game. It could be, but probably not. I don't think this, this deck has any ways to bring Fibble Thip in from the deck. Um, to be able to draw two. I don't think so. Interplanar Beacon. Well, while, while this may be unranked, this is still um, an event where you, you pay gold to enter and you win gold depending on how you do. So it's still a, a very competitive de uh, competitive event. And that's what's called the competitive event. You want to win win some gold. Yeah, Fibblethip beatdown time. We drew our one Planeswalker at the wrong time. We drew the Narset right before their uh, Thought Erasure. It's not the correct time to draw that. Puppy. So camera shy. All right, definitely playing the interplanar beacon first. All right, all right. Yeah. All right, say bye, puppy. We'll go. I'll go put you back in the living room. Okay, let's go back to the living room. Come on. Ugh.
Gotta play the beacon first to gain the life back that we paid. Yeah, Hawkeye, that was Puppy. Do you like Puppy? I need to get some puppy emotes. I your mistakes. I don't enjoy seeing things suffer, but I'll make an exception for you. I am currently at work, Oliver. Liliana? No, don't kill my fibble thip. My army will envelop Don't kill my fibble thip. Putrid, but effective. Back off! I could kill this thing too, but then they draw a card. I don't really want them to draw a card. Now, now, don't be pushy. Ugh, looks like you're on your own now. What hurts them heartens me. So if I attack Liliana first and then cast the Inferno and kill the 2-2, two -two, the... Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure the Liliana still sees the thing dying and, and still draws the card, I, I would think. This is no mere trinket. Yeah, yeah, so they would draw, yeah. So I thought. The heat of my flames. <laughs> Magnificent. This gives us 12 power for next turn. If I I could have attacked with Dovin. And had 8 power. But kind of diversifying the threats there. Uh, here, you can, in case it's, I don't know, Contempt, but can, they would just cast Contempt in response. I'm impressed anyone you can be, be a, so a creature too, Dovin, even though you don't get to attack. Sarkin. Well, I should probably be taking up Dovin instead of taking down. I should probably just be taking up Dovin there. This doesn't really matter. No, mass, mass manipulation is still in standard. A mel Entrancing Melody rotates. Mass manipulation does not, ro does not rotate. All right, so we didn't really see our opponent do anything. Ooh. I'm going to steal Liliana. Probably want to counter some stuff. Get another Chandra to do some stuff. Um, I mean, this stops Thought Erasure. Do I want to stop Thought Erasure on, like, turn three? And, like, discard spells and stuff? I guess you exile things. Just good against Grixis. Oh, get Runus Blast out of here. Alright, I guess I'm playing... I uh, guess I'm playing you. And you. Uh, 
Um, looks like the uh, I'm I've been real impressed with uh, like Bant mid range and Desper Hero, both those decks. But I really like this for myself. I really like the Selesnya Arkbo deck um, that we played earlier. Uh, I, yeah, I like that deck quite a bit. That's the that's my best deck right now. Which is, of course, different from like the best deck in the format. But yeah, Mono Red, Esper. Those are the most popular decks. Grixis can answer Spyglass kind of well, like. A lot of their removal destroys artifacts. And while we did see the Liliana, we didn't really see, like, you know, we didn't see anything else there. Hey, what's up, J Jay Reek? Getting that new underwear. Thank you so much, Jay Reek, for supporting with me undies there. Let's get some hype in the channel. Thank you very much there. So they just played that contentious plan that didn't really do anything. Place. Ooh, Mox Amber. Mox Amber Sarkin. Where are the ramp deck now? <laughs> well, thank you so much, Jayrik. Yeah, I needed a few more pairs. Happy to support the stream. Well, with with placing the order with me undies, you can now get a donation awesome. deck for just five dollars if you want. That's uh, something you don't have to do. That's um, doesn't expire at any time. So if you ever have a deck that you want me to play on stream, it's usually twenty dollars. But with getting the uh, supporting through me undies, you can get one for just five dollars. So an option anytime. But yeah, thank you so much, Jerry. Mark that down. Now we only need five more people to make a purchase through MeUndies to get a for a new 12-hour stream. My intellect is without limit. All right, I should have. All right, I should. I should have Spyglass in here. But yeah, that was pretty disgusting. The Elder Spell. Yeah, that, that thing would just destroy the Spyglass, but still. <clears throat> Alright. No, that's game two. So that game two Elder Spell. That's pretty rough. I should have taken in Bolus's clutches, and so I could have st stolen Bolus. Let's go Teo instead of Wanderer. We haven't seen like Phoenix or other Bo Nickel Bolus or anything. We haven't seen any dragons. All right, we got Fibblethip. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of fairies. Yeah, I don't hate Elder Spell as a one of in a sideboard. I don't hate it.
I'm gonna play this land. I am not going to sit this one out. Next turn, I'm probably gonna be bouncing my Fibble Thip to replay it and draw draw another card. <clears throat> but I'm gonna wait till next turn to do that. I'm not gonna just do that right now and put the other card and the Fibble Thip into my hand in case of like another Thought Erasure. Oh, or I or I'm just bouncing that thing. No, I am not making this up as I go. I think we have too many lands. Oh, I've done the hero Prison realm. Veto. We're gonna draw a spell eventually, right? Sacrifice a Planeswalker. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. Here we go. I do want to draw multiple cards a turn, thank you. Let's try this. More cards. You can just loop forever. Hmm. I wish I would have got you the turn earlier, Teferi. Which we would have switched those two Teferis. The cold blast will resonate throughout the multiverse. My schemes have been foiled. Witness a moat of my power. Really, I'm one land short now because I got rid of that land. I'm going to Fairy plus Prism Realm. I mean, obviously I can tuck, but I don't think I really want to tuck that. I want them to get it back. I will wipe your bloodline. From existence. Here goes nothing. Flavor win. Y'all remember in the story when Nicol Bolas got sent to the prison realm? It's just like the story. This is real magic happening here. Prison realm is not instant speed. This is an enchantment. This can make sorceries instant speed, not enchantments. Yeah. We're... Oh no! My big Teferi. <laughs> I understood that reference. Attack. All right, let's see what we get here and, and kind of determine what we want to do with Teferi. Okay, so I definitely want to keep that available. So we're not going to you. minus three bounce Fibble Thip. I, mean, I guess I could have and just replayed Fib Fibble Thip and just kept the other Teferi in my hands. Rude. Do it. Let us fight. Look 
to the skies. All right, so I'm going to minus Narset. We bricked. I'm going to bounce Narset. Trust me, I have a plan. And then we're going to recast Narset. So is that the one loyalty minus again? And prepare. But yeah, it looks like they have another elder spell. Nicopolis. Remember the story when Nicopolis used elder spell to kill a bunch of planeswalkers? That was rude. Yeah, this has been a great game. Oh uh, no, I don't want to sack a creature. I know um, my responsibility. There is no greater honor than serving. I'll block them off. Don't worry, I got this. Teo only gives me hexproof, doesn't give the other planeswalkers hexproof. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. I guess I should have minus three there. I know, I know. I and there's no problem. Fire can't solve. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Yeah, this is a role-playing duel. <laughs> I have other schemes to attend to. I outsmarted you eons ago. Ooh. Sit back and watch it burn. Ooh. I look forward to seeing your Mega Block Thief. Nickel Bolas. Shut down. With Defender. Why don't you have like Reach or something? Did I name the right Nickel Bolas? Ooh, I did. Lucky. Oh, that's each opponent. That's not a target. Really? They had two of those? Oh, I get punished for not minusing the Teo again. Wow. That was their draw step plus the proliferate draw step. I didn't read that, that card very closely, but I just assumed that that was a target... A target player kind of thing. Let's light it up. Right, time to light it up. Focus and discipline thoughtfulness before action. Time to light it up. I fight with a dragon's rage. Are you ready? The dragons. We gotta kill the dragon god too. The dragons have no god. I was I incorrect. Return. Go ahead and gloat. <laughs> Fought through two elder spells. Well, that was a really fun match. That was a really fun match, yeah. That's exactly how, yeah, the role playing finish also. Nicobolas getting taken down. By the planeswalkers and everything. <laughs> yeah, that part of the story where Dovin turns into a, a dragon and betrays Bolas. Don't you remember that part? No, I had. Um, we had just had Dovin kill Bolas there. 
I don't think there's anything, any detriment in standard for the creatures becoming red, for the planeswalkers becoming red creatures, like the red specifically. I can't think of anything. Uh, are, we, are we fighting Grixis again? Is Nicol Bolas looking for its... Oh, uh, no. No revenge for Nicol Bolas. Unless this is four-color control. <clears throat> Esper Splash Bolas. Now, that's a real deck right there. Yeah, we survived two Elder Spells. Bolas can't take us down at all. They took the Teferi, so I kind of figured that the Teferi was going to bother them. Uh, should have bounced the Fibblethip last turn. I'm drawn two. I was getting greedy there. I was thinking that I could untap with it. If you wish to see, I have just the trick for this. Well, I would have just drawn one from bouncing the Fibble Thip, but then play it again and draw another one. So I'm hoping this is Esper Hero more than Esper Control, given like the Ruinous Blast, but also given that they have Contempt. Contempt is usually an Esper Control, not Esper Hero. But Blast is awesome against Hero. Yeah, we cast Immolating Inferno last game to kill a Liliana and deal them four. So that was cool. Keep an open mind. So what did they shock in for <clears throat> and then not do anything? You're gonna like absorb plus something else? Skip to the good part. Yeah. Mm. Whatever your plans. They're statistically likely to fail. So basically, Dovin's just another Planeswalker to have him play for the Sarkin. You know, maybe the tax effect will annoy our opponent. It's definitely considering just playing another Narset, a new Narset, but Narset doesn't help you hit land drop, so... <clears throat> hmm. <laughs> yeah, Teferi plus one isn't really so busted. Not drawing any cards. Thought. <laughs> Poor Fibblethip. No. And hopefully that Dovin means they can't cast Absorb anymore. Who are you to call me mad? They are coming. Oh wait, cancel. Wrong Dovin. This is hardly my worst. Overwhelming. Feat. Yeah, tick up, untap two lands. Isn't so bad. There is no peace in defeat. Right on, no time for a break. We're just waiting for this Jaya's Immolating Inferno. 
Ooh, we get to untap lands. Okay, <clears throat> so we're playing against control over here. Bolus Clutch, Prison Realm, Dovin's Vetoes. I don't know if we actually really need Prison Realm. They have, assuming they have Mortify, that assumption holds any water. Go this. Would I rather have Do like so? Do I want Dovin Hand to control or something else? Yeah, they could have Thief of Sandy. Maybe I should just be playing a couple of shocks. Shot can like kill a planeswalker that minuses or kill a thief. I'll keep in one Dovin for the other thief. Like another Dovin still for a thief. Alright, Kurtash. Have a wonderful night. Oh that's true, yeah, the, just the tax killer with with Dovin. It's a good Yeah, that that tax is, is really nice. The veto. Okay. You're fine. My dreams dissipate like So I'm gonna minus. Should I minus? Should I pick this back up with them having this planeswalker out? Probably not. I've got it. Behold. Yeah, I don't really know exactly what Ashok. So they just spend a card just to get rid of some of my library. My prowess, hone your prowess. Love a Mox Amber. And prepare. Hmm. That was a lot of good targets there. I've got time. Uh, interesting technique. Now they want a minus minus two Narset. Alright, that goes away. Voices calling me. <laughs> our our post looking at our hand like, oh crap. This no. I took Jaya instead of Chandra because. Like, they already have these two planeswalkers. I thought they could play another planeswalker here. I want to be able to just be able to, like, kill a bunch of planeswalkers with it. I know we have the Sarkin too, but that was my thinking there. I have just the trick for this. All right, now we'll, we'll keep Dovin's veto up. Here goes 
of nothing. I've lost my appetite. Down, down, down. We should have this game in the bag. I can't, I can't really see us losing from here. Well, unfortunately, I have to counter that, even though it's not, it's not that good against me. We just have to, but then, yeah, we'll have Sarkin attack them for 13. That's pretty cool. You just play defense with these planeswalkers, and then you play Sarkin to kill him. And just kill him out of nowhere. It is happening. It is happening. Ooh. Not so much. Okay. I guess maybe I could have kept that first one. We would have just had to draw any... Would any land? Any land then we could have had Teferi turned on? Yeah, Fibblethip's doing doing Fibblethip stuff. Uh, it's just all Thought Erasure decks. Just down the line. It's Grixis or... Grixis and Esper. Mind and body keep an open mind. Uh, we cut the spell pierces right before this for like these shocks, and the spell pierces would have been really nice. Right. Sometimes I just want to play a one one. Prowess. <laughs> you can tell it's getting a little late. <laughs> Just play the fibble tip in there. No land drop, though. Those who cannot pursue, do you meditate and prepare? <laughs> Cry the Carnarium. It's probably their only choice. So much commotion. What know you of drag? Behold! I won't forget our time together. I agree. This deck does seem like a good benefit from Escanta. Why Why are we not playing any Escantas? How, how are we not playing an Escanta? That doesn't really make any sense. I agree. Well, that's a dead card. Your loss will either be a tragedy or comedy of errors. Yeah, this hand of control is like our card is our card that's good against aggro. The immortal Nicole Bolas will be your my revenge. Will be painful. Let your We're just not playing against any aggro. So the Dovin doesn't look so good. against the thoughtfulness before action. Let's slow this down. I've got time. Blah. 
insolent fool. <laughs> Runa's Blast is great in, in other matchups, but it's just really bad in, in control matchups. No! <laughs> you have no and that's all we've played as control matchups. I, exploit. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. What a good mindless min. Sarkin? I have just the trick for this. All right, uh, one, two, three, four. So Emily Inferno can do four. I guess I let them draw. No way to I've learned much from your death. So I can kill Bolas. I have other plans. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> Rise and shine. Fibblethip is the real MVP. Yeah, Fibblethip was the one that killed Bolas. You don't remember that in the story? Fibbletip killed Bolas. I have a few openings for more minions, if you're interested. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Now what? Every day, keep an open mind. I, I look forward to seeing your mistakes. Fox Amber. Yeah, Spyglass would be nice. Yeah, all while being totally lost. Just accidentally. See, Fibbletip's like, where do I go? And is like looking, like, see, Fibbletip's looking like that, like looking over here while walking like this way, and just accidentally runs into Bolas and pushes Bolas into the prison realm off the cliff. Oh, I could have dove in the the two two. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it is garbage time. Yeah, this game's kind of over. Um. Conceivable. My scheme. Sorry, Mox Amber. Never ending. Yeah, I should have dove in. Good I should have handed controlled find in war. the 2 2. So, Sarkin is like our only card we can draw, basically. Sarkin could pressure our opponent some. Well, I can exile some tokens. Hone your prowess. All right. Okay, so we want Prison Realm against Grixis, Bolas Clutches, uh, Immolating Inferno, Chandra, Dovin's Veto, Spyglass, taking out this Hand of Control, putting this Dovin back in, taking out the Lava Coil, Shock, um, Ruinous Blast. All right, so that's that. Now... Do I need some more removal? They had four mana Nicol Bolas. Likely Thief of Sanity also. I guess I got these two Prison Realms. 
Probably should keep two lava coils in. For four mana bolus. Sure, they have Bedevil. They can, yeah, things die to removal. But I'm still going to play Spyglass to shut down a something. If they're Bedeviling the Spyglass, they're not Bedeviling my Planeswalker. It's better than not playing Spygla Spyglass. I've had a couple of Fibble Thips. I guess I should maybe take out like at least one, maybe even both of the spark doubles. Considering if we're like, if we don't have planeswalkers, we're losing, and spark double's not going to help. And spark double helps like whenever we have a bunch of planeswalkers out, which is like when we're winning. Next turn I can... No, I can't double veto because I only have one white mana. Kleshandra. You got me. The focus and just meditate and prepare. That didn't go very well. Would have liked to, you know, get our fifth land, be able to play Teferi and Dovin's Veto. Maybe yours. Or even Sarkin. Put thoughtfulness before action. Hey, other Greek. <laughs> the Spark Double should be Samets, so Fibblethip can wreck face. Now with the Dovin in play, I can have double veto because this can add white mana now. Well, that also helps. I guess we only need single veto. Let's take up Dovin. Sorry, I'm late. This tech gimmick is worth it. This I guess might last. Be a bad idea. Oh, what I should have done last turn. I mean, they just had the Thought Erasure anyway. What I could have done last turn is... I, don't, I wasn't really even considering this. But I should have just used the Mox Amber, cast the Teferi, replay, uh, bounce the Mox Amber, replay the Mox Amber. And then still had Dovin's Veto. I've got it. Not just a gadget, but injury. Alright, Dovin will be able to ultimate this next turn. But they only thought erasured, so it all worked out. And getting this Dovin in play, it's, ac it's actually like worked out a lot better playing the Dovin, honestly. I was confident. Then we get to ultimate. Again. I am proven wow, right. that was not the best ultimate. No, 
No, I am not making this up as I go. Oh, I can't even play. Oh my gosh, why did I not get, just get a, a red land? <laughs> what, what am I doing? I didn't even look at my mana base. I just thought I had, you know, I didn't even look at my mana base. I just grabbed an, an untapped land. Never punished. My inventions bring joy Is this lethal? To me and others. I have to do 11? No, I can't do 11. Ugh, I guess I should keep Teferi in play. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I could do 6, because, you know, we could bounce the Mox Amber there, and I could have done 6 damage. My Dovin. These results are an anomaly, not to be repeated. Wow, even with the 10 cards from Dovin, <laughs> we're still just only seeing lands after that. Trust me, I have a plan. Oh my gosh. All right, we found something. It wasn't a land. If you wish to surrender, I have just the trick for this. Eugene. When you understand reality. Hey, MTGO Mike. Secrets manifest before you. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll do. You, you, you. Death comes for us all. And Fibblepip finishes it off. Oh, no. That was game two. I thought that was game three. Uh, all right. Um, hmm. Keep it the same. Well, if it was Carnival Carnage, they couldn't play it because of Teferi. They couldn't play an instant, so it didn't, it didn't matter killing the token and giving them the card. So yeah, even if it was Carnival Carnage that they were getting and they could have cast the Carnival and killed the Fibbletip, they would not have been able to... Ah, this is a good card. But I don't have lands. This is a good card. We need lands. Opponents on five cards is try to hit land drops. Glad we bottomed. Not being greedy here. All right, not so glad we bottomed. <laughs> yeah, we can we can double up Fibblethip. What a good. What a good bottom. We yeah, had another one. Alright, I'm still writing down that two life. Two life here. Chalk it up.
Yeah, I guess we copy up, copy Fibblethip, I guess. Here we go, double Fibblethip. Let's go. Oh, it's a 2-2? Wow, oh, that's so big. So big. Bolas, you go to the prison realm. Fibblethip commands it. Attack. All right, now we're starting to flood out. Draw a planeswalker. There's a planeswalker. We have a third negate. Yuck. The third or the fourth? The third. Go, Fable Thip, go. All right, we shuffled the, the spark double back in there. Just kind of good because we put the Narset. The Narset used to be on the bottom. Now it's somewhere randomly in there. So now we'll draw that Narset. That'd be a good thing to do. Uh, no, we drew the spark double. No, not the spark double. Wow, ditching Ugin. Ha, huh. nice duress. We're gonna draw t five mana to fairy here, and we're gonna have double to fairy. One to tuck the Narset, one to draw a card. Nope, never mind. The undead make great minions. Look smelly, but effective. Okay. That's a card. We're back in it. You never not in it. Take them out. This is just gonna be bad for you. Here. We're lining it up. Oh, it's you burning. Look at that. Look at that card advantage. You want to attack Chandra? You're dealing damage to your Liliana if you do. Good thing these, that doesn't count as drawing extra cards, so like the Narset doesn't doesn't affect it. Just going at me. All right. I'm at 26. You got me. Top card. That's a good one. It's the top card. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. Okay. So I guess I need you to. Hmm. I know my responsibility. So, you know, the tick up just doesn't do anything with this Narset in play. I guess I tuck, but tucking Narset doesn't seem like it makes a lot of sense either. Right on schedule. I could tuck Lily, yeah. I think I want to bounce one of these tokens. Then, of course, I don't draw. Hmm. 
I'm gonna tuck Narset. Draw a card. Here we go. Perfect. Because if they if they want to attack to fairy, which they certainly can. Then the Chandra ult is going to kill him. This was a waste of my time. Okay, well. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> we will meet again. Hmm. This could be a problem now. We gotta find a Sarkin in here. We haven't seen one of those yet. We gotta My find a Sarkin. Alright, this time we gotta find a Sarkin. We still haven't seen one of those yet. There are so many mysteries to uncover, but thoughtfulness. There's a Sarkin. Action. Yeah, Sarkin's cooler than Immolating Inferno for winning. I guess yeah, I would have had enough for Immolating Inferno. I summon you. GG. Oh, we did see one. Our opponent uh, thought erasure to Sarkin away. Okay. Earlier. Three now. All right, panel Steven. Have a good night. Just guys, super friends, keeping it going. We'll see if we play against yet another Thought Erasure deck. So far, we're three for three playing against Thought Erasure. do it <laughs> ooh that's that's a odd land to play in your thought erasure deck stomping ground it's a bold land to play in the in the thought erasure deck we'll see how it works out for them no chain whirler no chain whirler Okay, no chain whirler. You must be mad to tussle with me. You can see your face while I'm beating you. I'm known for my excellent timing. Bounce. I'll protect you. I'm getting miffed now. We're slowing them down for a little bit. They can only punish you if they catch you. I was like, why are you why did you put stomping ground in your thought erasure deck? And my opponent was like, you will feel the you? Lick of my blade. I will call the dragons. Ow. This is hardly All my right. worst defeat. I'll just see myself out then. Hmm. Yeah, Sargon's pretty scary. I have just the trick for this. Working for the other side now. Come on. You call that a hit? Yeah, Domri does look awesome as a red creature. I agree. Yeah, that looked really cool. Mm -hmm. Next turn, we can Lava Coil. Next turn, I could go Teferi, Tick Up, 
and have Lava Coil instant speed. Might demands power. Yeah, Dahmer looks pretty nice. Ow, ow. You are a mighty lost. warrior. I can see. I was raised by wolves. Though, so they might have also just been big dogs. This isn't a fight you can win. Let's try this. Another move. Well, that's annoying that Fibblethip's dying. Because I was going to Ruinous Blast away all these other things the next turn. That didn't go according to plan. So let's go Dovin plus Fibblethip. Your loss will either be a tragedy or comedy of errors. There are many who have turned weakness into a virtue. Mm. They're real close to killing me. There'll be nothing but death. Run down to one here. Done. It's a Millennium God. Yes, I do think that, that the Slicing Arc, arc Bow do good against control. Yeah. Uh, the Arc Bow and the Vivian in particular are really good there. Trying to stay alive. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, that might be me. Uh, gates, I'm not so sure. Um, you, if you have a lot of gates, you probably want to put some, like a wanderer or two, maybe even two wanderers in the sideboard for the gates matchup. Because that protects gate. That means the gates of blaze doesn't do anything. And I'm the best fire starter there is. This is just going to be bad for you. Definitely top deck to that one. Perfection is unattainable, so stop trying. <clears throat> Um, and and Wanderer can exile big creatures as well. So Wanderer is like perfect against gates. Like uh, I guess the Wanderer. The only authority that I recognize is chaos. What's that smell? Oh. It's you burning. Hmm. Own your prowess. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and dove in minus this thing. The fault is not in our stars. Okay. Ours. I was going to play the other dove in minus the Domri. I guess I was, was going to play Sarkin first and attack, and then play the other dove in and minus the Domri. Yeah, we came back. For those of y'all that were down in Urza's Ruinous Blast earlier. Came back with it. Speaking of Wanderer, let's get those all 
in here. Uh, Teo, I guess so. Teo, I guess so. Clarion. I don't want Dovin, and I don't really want Fibbleth up here with the Chain Whirlers. Yeah, me playing these Clarions. Do I want Teo? Do I want Prison Realm? Probably want Prison Realm. I'm thinking this right here. Yeah, Mox Amber just adds mana. It's going to be harder to add mana without Fibble Thip. It's going to be more likely that Mox Amber is not going to do anything. But yeah, it's just a. It's like a, a mana source you can find with Narset, like whenever you minus Narset. You can, you know, it's basically a land you can grab. Narset's definitely made Mox Amber better for sure. Yeah, Sinister. That's what I'm. That's what I do here. Is answer questions. Alright, so we're going to be bouncing this Arc Bow next turn, likely. You know, they get to go find a creature with it. Well, they, you know, get to try to find a creature with it. I'll show restraint. I just got this in, in a draft and played it in a game. And my goodness, was it a good combo? Didn't even notice. Bola Citadel and Chandra Fire like Artisan. Just got in sealed. It was insane. Yeah, so because Chandra could exile the top card, so you just keep keep on playing with Citadel until like your your top card that you don't need, then you tick it up and keep Only on going. Or if it was like too much, yeah, if it was like too much uh, health for you to pay, uh, too much life, you could just you know if it's some expensive thing, but you had the mana. Does seem like a pretty nice combo there. I like it. All right, let's send this Chandra to the prison realm. Um, bottom. Well, that was a disaster. Prison realm and ruinous blast. This is not a good combination of cards that I have in the deck currently that I just thought about at this moment in time. Yeah, that's not so good. Hmm. All right, next turn on six mana. I'm going to play Narset, I'm going to minus Narset, and I'm going to find Deafening Clarion, and I'm going to play Deafening Clarion. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty terrible combination. Uh, whoops. I guess maybe, I guess I'm not boarding in Prison Realm. I'm, if we go to game three, I'm taking Prison Realm back out. What a glorious day, Mr. All right, definitely hitting Deafening Clarion here. I wish you could see your face when I'm beating you. I have practiced against many foes. Meditate and prepare. All right, didn't work out as planned. I had a master plan. It didn't work. 
There's no accounting for luck. Maybe yours will fall. We're studying contrasts. I'm excellent in your... Well, not. So on the battlefield, our opponent can't kill both of these planeswalkers. Alright, so leaving Narset alive. Nope. Killing Narset. I don't like it. Sloppy. So hopefully we can untap with Narset. Oh gosh. Do I just give my opponent a Chandra? Ugh. That thing's legendary too. Oh, I forgot that Sarkin had a passive ability. That's why y'all want me to play Sarkin. Because of that passive ability. I forgot about that. There's so much text on all these cards. Hey, Zan. Yeah, night's going good. Ooh. That card's cool. Two kinds of mages. Those who lose and me. Farewell. Eh, I've killed bigger. The wonder. We begin. Dragon. Has arrived. <laughs> Whiff. Well, that's lucky for us. They do seem like they're playing too many planeswalkers for this arc bow. I've seen a lot of planeswalkers from them. Hey, KZ. Thanks. I am not going Draw to card. this one out. Hurry. Exile that. Thankfully, they made it a 4 4 for us. Attack with some dragons. I thought we were losing this game. But our opponent kind of stopped doing stuff. Uh, we ruined it. You know, we got rid of the Domri. And then they kind of stopped doing things. That's pretty cool. Look to the skies. You need to take a time out. All right, up to the skies. Another comeback. Jeskai Super Friends is 4 0. <laughs> yeah, bow can be in activated as an instant, yes. Alright, we're on our final boss. 
The five win dream still alive. Let's get our final boss playlist up and going. Here we go. Thanks, time stretch. All right, so we got our final boss playlist in now. And we'll, maybe we're having so much luck with the deck because I didn't actually put sleeves on it. And it's Grixis. Another Thought Erasure deck. Is this our third time playing Grixis in this league? I think so, right? This is the third Grixis. Yeah, three Grixis, one Esper, and then we had that Gruel last, last time. Yes, uh, if, you, if your Planeswalker is a 4-4 and then it loses its loyalty counters, it will perish. It will go to the graveyard. When Planeswalkers have no loyalty counters, they go to the graveyard, whether they are a creature or not. Yeah, we've played new... Yeah, I have a new Niv-Mizzet deck. It's pretty sweet. Um, it's from a while ago. I played it, like, the very first day. Put thoughtfulness before action. Um, it's in the Stream Decker page. You have to look for a few weeks ago. Play, like, the very first day of the new format. Um, it was called Five Color Reborn. Is the name of the deck. Um, well, I guess we're minusing. I have just the trick for this. I could take the Mox Amber and then play Sarkin. Whatever your plan, they're you statistically likely to fail. I'm excellent, and you're well. But we'll wait a turn. We'll get another Planeswalker out here. Dovin's good. <sighs> Oh, cool, or a Sonic, yeah. Because Fibblethip's just a value creature to to play. The facts can't be denied. I am beaten. Hmm. It's a little risky playing Sarkin and making a dragon because they just need like removal spell for dragon, then they kill like my Sarkin. I do not have any thoughts too much on the FF7 remake with the new footage release. I don't, I haven't seen it. I, I don't have enough information to have any thoughts on it. Um, I don't know. I don't know very much about it. No sword can pierce my scales. A dragon does not lose. I think it's. To me. I think it's not coming to Switch. Is that correct? Switch is the only system I have. Yeah, new Narset. I did not auto tap that very well. Keep an open mind. Um. I'll have to discard this land if if we draw a spell. Stand by and I'll protect you. It's PS4 exclusive? Okay. 
Yeah, so I haven't I haven't really looked at anything else about it basically because it's PS4 exclusive. Hone your prowess. <laughs> Thanks, baby Ken. Hope your weekend's going good. Oh, I didn't uptick the fairy, sorry. I was... There was that person that threw a spoiler in chat. And so I was trying to delete that and I wasn't really paying attention. My bad. This might be a bad idea. Hey, what's up, Malicious? Thanks for that sub right there. That's sub number 19 on the day. That means we are one away from another sub goal. Let's get some high posts in the channel there for Malicious707. Thank you so much. Um, Lava Coaling, that thing just gives them that card. It's not too great. I, should, I shouldn't play the beacon, though, because they could have another of the 4 forward niv I should keep the, that beacon in hand. And that is true. I can Lava Coil into speed. Never mind, that's, that's also true. That's a good point. No, my Narset. So I think we only have the one Immolating Inferno in the main deck. Wow, that's risky. Now we can get to kill Nicol Bolas now. Where's our search for Escanta? So, I, because of not ticking up Teferi, I didn't get to minus Teferi that other time. I am one again. And minusing Teferi, I could have like bounced the Fibblethip and it would have been basically a draw too. I will return one day. Witness a moat of my power. Ether itself serves me. Hmm. All right, we'll pick him up. Let's go Prison Realm. They definitely had a lot of boluses. So maybe a Wanderer, one Clutch, one Chandra, one Inferno, all these Vetoes, the Spyglass, Shock, Coil, Blast, <clears throat> Dovin. I'm just kind of doing the same, same stuff we have been doing. This gets me 62. Let's just take these spark doubles out. Maybe one spark double, zero wanderer. They don't have like non-combat damage stuff. Alright, one one double, no wanderer. Oh, Sarkin, get in here. Never mind. Get out of here. One Wanderer, one Coil. 
Hey, I do really good. Uh, yeah. I don't like Gideon in this deck because Gideon is Gideon's really good in aggressive decks where you're attacking a lot. Like that's all Gideon does is is attack, and this is a, a defensive deck that's trying to stay alive and then use use Sarkin to like kill the opponent quickly. But we're uh, Gideon basically goes <clears throat> away from like the goal of the deck. And, and so I don't think Gideon's a fit. Gideon's also tough on the mana with the double light when this is mostly a blue-red deck. All right, not going to throw the Narset into a negate. Yeah, this is the final boss. We're four zero. We're playing until we win five or lose two. So even if we, even if we lose this one, we'll we have an extra life here at the final boss. But yeah, that's why we got our epic music going here. I did not. No, I haven't seen any of the NBA results. I've been here streaming for the last seven and a half hours. Four mana Jace is good. It's just really hard to cast triple blue. Maybe this deck could cast Jace. But yeah, I, I like four mana Jace. Nobody tells me what to do. I just want to land. This is gonna be bad for you. Oh, that's good. Can I? All right. So if I play, so I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this costs four. So I can do Fibblethip and Immolating Inferno. I guess I should have Fibblethipped first because we could draw an untap land, which I just did. So I didn't need to shock. Oh well. Manar said. Oh no! Yes, Took the Narset and the Chandra. The worst timeline. All right, cycle. Fibble thip. Oh, keep the land in hand. I need to keep that because of Nickel Bolas, the other Bolas. Could steal it. Meditate and prepare. Vladimus, thanks for that sub there. Sorry, I'm late. There goes nothing. Eighth month in a row. That is our 20th sub of the day. Whoops. Ah, we got there. Sacrifice any Planeswalker? I'll sacrifice this one. Didn't he let me choose. Such violence is upsetting. Yeah, Arcbow could get Fibblethip. True. Draw Ugin. No, not Duress. No. What a clutch Duress. How do you use high boats? Uh, on In the chat, on the right hand side, there's a smiley face. If you click that smiley face, it goes to the emotes. And you can see the emotes on my channel. Wow, and then they drew Bolas? 
My revenge will Do the duress first to protect it and then the bolus? That's fortunate. I knew you needed my what's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. And fury, let your weak minds crumble. Yeah, or you can type, yeah, TSMTG and then capitalize the H for, with the hype there. Yeah. Yeah, I should have stolen Bolas a long time ago with the... I should not have countered the first Bolas. Um, I kind of got a little too itchy finger. We're just like late in the night and I saw Bolas and I countered it. I guess I'll play this first and sack it because we could hit Sarkin. Okay. And then be able to attack and kill the bolus. Oh, wait. I wanted to... What? I thought I was sacking the one I just played. Like, didn't that just enter and then I sac sacked it? I want to attack that bolus for one. It moved? Defiance has consequence. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, I could have probably won that game. If I just went and countered the first bolus and then stole the first bolus. Alright, we're four and one. You know, hopefully not play one more control, one more long control match. Hopefully. All right, let's see what we got. Ooh, I like it. Fibblethip, Mox Amber, good mana, easy keep. Yeah, anything but another Thought Razor deck. Even though that's probably our best chance of winning is the Thought Razor decks. I think that we're really good against them. Is this Grixis number four? The Grixis opponent number four. Yeah, we're using our extra life here on the final boss. Our fourth match against Grixis. Wow. I know I didn't play Mox Amber. I wouldn't mind if they took the Mox Amber with the Thought Erasure. Just the trick for this. We begin. Your end has arrived. All right, time to begin. So they missed on their Narset minus. That's unlucky. Keep an open mind. Missed again? Uh, of course.
We're going upstairs. Come to me. That's gotta be like enter the God Eternals with the shock. Well that's that's game, yeah. They just wanted to see one more card. Okay, let's get this, 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 these, no more of those, not that, not that, not that, maybe that back, no those, um, not that. Hmm. Spark double back in, lava coil out, no. Spark double out. One fibble thip out, one spark double out. Okay, one and one. Ugh. Yeah, no, it was, it's, de it's definitely not worth, we don't need to reshuffle the fibble thip uh, by targeting it with the Jaya's Immolating Inferno. We just want to keep it on the battlefield with our opponent at a low life total like that. Just be another damage source. Hmm. We need the Hallowed Fountain. Interplanar Beacon does not cast Dovin's Veto. This isn't a fight you can win. I've got it. Could bounce the token. Um But this at least like makes them spend their turn again, like replaying War Boss, while we kind of draw through cards. I don't really know what I'm looking for right now since we don't have now Runus what? Blast in. Yeah, I'm using Stream Decker. I know my responsibility. No, I am not making this up as I go. Okay, we're kind of doing some stuff. You can find all my decks there, streamdecker.com slash decks slash Todd Stevens MTG. This is hardly my worst defeat. Yeah, they already discarded one of my lava coils. I have two lava coils in. Um, it's gonna be a challenge to beat War Boss. There you go, Sarkin. Sarkin beats War Boss. I kind of want Dovin's veto in as well. Like to protect Sarkin. Yeah, we, we gotta have Dovin's Veto up also. My prowess, hone your prowess. I can't let my Dovin's Veto or my Sarkin die. Sorry, I can't let my Sarkin die to a like a bedevil or something like that. I gotta be able to protect it. I didn't. I didn't make this deck. This was a, a donation deck that was sent to me, um, so I didn't. 
I didn't put it together. So like, why am I not playing Ugin? I I don't know. I didn't I didn't put this deck together. This is my first time really seeing it, like as we're playing it here. If Sarkin's on the battlefield, Sarkin beats War Boss. Does it beat two War Bosses? I don't know about that. Needs a rest. Yeah, we need two dragons out. Like the first, like Fibblethip will be able to block one of the war bosses. Okay. I don't want to tap you. Just be safe. To me. No, I didn't put in Clarion in this match. Well, I can't resolve. We'll see if they know about Sarkin's ability or not. Looks like not. No, I can't. I cannot do resort. I can't let that resolve and then clutches, because if I let that resolve, they minus and kill my dragon, and I need the dragon out. Listen to them roar. I will consume them. For this. Listen to them. Watch. Come on. Watch this. Um... Of my flames. I think we got this game. <laughs> Magnificent. Uh... I think we're going to get this one. So it looks like we're going to be 3 1 against Grixis. Like, you know, we'll see what they have. They're going to need a lot. Sack a creature. Um, I mean, I can beat that, so I guess I just let that resolve. Even though I could, you know, try to go for like the, you know, the kill next turn, but there could just be like something else, super scary. Listen to them roar. Might demands power. Give this war boss. 
Give me that. I want to cast that card. I haven't cast that card like in standard ever. I want to cast it. Okay. Got the win. Five and one. Got the five wins. Jeskai Super Friends was really sweet. So, little things about the deck. It does seem like we're really good against Control. Um, the only matchup that we lost against Control... I, we lost the game one, and I could have played the game two better and probably won the game two. Um, yeah, like I probably could have won that game two. I'm not sure. You know, don't really know how good we are against Aggro. We only played against a green-red deck once. Everything in the deck was pretty good except for Spark Double. I don't think Spark Double is necessary at all. Votro Box, welcome to the channel. I guess one time we did Spark Double as Chandra in one game. Whenever we're just sitting on a Spark Double and like, you know, 12 mana or something like that. Like 10 mana. And then just drew a Chandra and then we got to Chandra and then copy it. And that was pretty awesome. Um, but I think I would like an Ascanta. It's like maybe one of the Spark Doubles being an Ascanta. Um, I don't like this Teo the Shield Mage. I don't think that card's very useful. I love Deafening Like, I think this deck should just have more Deafening Clarions in it. Like, this card's awesome. Especially against aggro. I don't... Yeah, it should just have more of this card. Um, but yeah. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, Jaya, Jaya's Inferno was awesome. That card's really good. And this card, this deck uh, turns it on very reliably. Also. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, so we did get to 20 subs a little bit ago. So that means it is time to crack a pack. Good call. So let's crack a pack before we get on out of here. Let's see if we get a mythic. So we always want with the packs. Mythic. All right, well, I'll take a Tulsimer. It's one of my favorite elf scouts right there. That's a good card right there, for sure. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching Jeskai Super Friends. And I will see you for another video.